Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is action from the round of 16 stage here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's the United States against Italy. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here. But whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Here's how it looks for the United States. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And the Italy starting 11. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And so the match is underway. Sophia Smith perfect challenge Serturini teammates available now will the cross work out for them struggling to get it away well that'll be a free kick Ana Maria Serturini. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Good physical play. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Going well. Giving it a try. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. underway 1-0 it is and it's a quality pass Kirini! and she went just a little bit too early offside Well, let's take another look. And there it is, just offside. Mind you, it was very close, wasn't it? Good pressure high up the pitch. Oh, a golden opportunity for her. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. 
Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and when through on goal, she makes no mistake. She just hits it so cleanly and with power. That's a great finish. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Showing a lot of guile there. But a good piece of tidying up. piece of defending can they do something positive on the counter attack Giuliano and that was a very fine read can they forge ahead Smith Might take the lead. Can they slot it home? Danger averted for now. Bad pass. Can she find the right pass? Gives it a go. Well, only just wide of the post. Well, just trying to drive her team forward here. A glorious chance. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Good movement. Lavelle! And saved by the keeper. Let's see about the delivery. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And what an easy finish it is in the end. Mind you, the market is so poor. She didn't even need to jump. She won't care about that, though. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Cristiana Girelli. Now with Bonansea. Oh, wonderful bit of skill. Winning the ball back. What can she do from here? That is that for the first half here. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Oh, lovely ball. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated.
Good looking play as she tries to get them onto the front foot. Surely! Well, they couldn't make anything of that cross with the ball in a decent enough position. Girelli. Nice looking pass. Smith. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Couldn't grab hold of it. And in the end, no damage done. Well, that save just about keeps them in this. But they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Well, not out of the woods just yet. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not the best clearance. Well, nothing comes of it. Breaking at pace. Nicely timed tackle. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. So, making the substitution now. Well, spot on with that challenge. Bonansea. Running with the ball confidently. And the penalty has been given here. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. An opportunity to level matters. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Well, as you can see, the keeper is sent the wrong way here, and then she just strokes it into the opposite side. That's a calm finish. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Done. And Morgan. Really good interception. Now can they counter clinically? Bonfantini. Is it going to be? And the keeper there to deal with it. Well, you can't take your eyes off this one. Because there you have it. Plenty of chances for both teams in what has been a really good game so far. Something you don't see every day of the week. A triple substitution here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. On she goes in possession. Can she pick the right option? Must take the lead here. Nicely blocked. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they take advantage of the situation? Oh, she's made a crucial tackle there. This looks threatening. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. 
There's a slide draw pass. A wonderful intervention. Sanchez. And Morgan. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? Manuela Giuliano now with Bonansea and a tidy challenge what about the stoppage time situation two minutes the word shot attempted and the keeper got there well the two sides still locked together and a set piece a corner can make all the difference Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Going well. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Morgan! Determined defending! Can they get themselves in front here? And now she's scored not once, but twice. Thoroughly enjoying herself out there. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent, one and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? And Yeze Bonfantini. Sofia Cantore. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Oh, she's broken things up magnificently. What an opportunity. Surely. And there's the goal she was hoping for. Now she can celebrate. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking.
A very timely interception. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Lavelle! That's it, half-time in extra time. The second period still to come. Well, the drama continues to unfold. Second period of extra time now. And that puts them in position. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Is this the moment? And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here it is again. The ball over the top is an absolute beauty. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. lingering doubts about the outcome surely they now have been removed Sofia Cantore and a timely intervention time is fast running out oh in with a chance oh football finesse and it's very best you can't argue with that finish. Well, this is a brilliant finish. Great awareness, good technique and a bit of composure as well. What an excellent goal that is. Ball looks promising. Unable to make the mark with that cross. And we will have just one additional minute. And the referee blows for full time. The United States will be in the last eight. Well, I'm not normally a fan of extra time, but that was enjoyable today because the players show great desire and fitness levels to go and win the game rather than just avoid defeat. And I would have to say they were just about the better team in the end.